Coaching is not about the coach being the expert in the room. We're not here to give our judgment about how things are going, what the client is saying, what we think they should do. We sometimes break that general guideline though in order to help the client have the greatest impact in their lives through the coaching experience. And so sometimes we may offer a suggestion of maybe a tool or resource we could leverage in a session. Sometimes we may offer our observation and interpretation of what we see the client trying to say. And as well, we sometimes may offer our feedback in, in terms of how the client is communicating or what their thoughts are around a decision, or whatever it might be. The key thing here, though, is, again, the coach is not hired to be the expert in providing feedback, but rather is an expert at being an objective third party who can offer outside feedback. And that distinction is really important, so I'm going to say it again. The coach's role is not to, based on our expertise, to give the feedback that this person needs to listen to in order to improve. That's the expert feedback approach. Instead, the coach, in a coaching session, when we offer feedback, we are offering it to contribute to exploration, to contribute to awareness and learning. So we are offering it with a very open hand. This is the coach's take, but we are asking the client after we offer the feedback for what their take is on what we say. Hey client, as you are saying what, what you'd like to say to your manager, I know we're in the middle of a conversation here, but as you mention what you'd like to say to them, my outside perspective was that it sounded a bit wordy. It wasn't very clear what you're really getting at. That's just how I heard of it, how, how I heard it on the outside. What do you make of that observation? What do you make of that feedback? And this is a very common approach that we've seen throughout the training so far, but it is critically important when it comes to feedback. Some coaches are very comfortable providing feedback, but they forget to make sure it's very clear that the coach is handing the feedback to the client for their interpretation. And other coaches, they are very comfortable not offering feedback. And when a client asks for feedback, they feel sometimes as if that's a breach of the coach's role. We want to come to the middle where the coach is able to offer feedback, but they offer it with that open-handed approach. And it can be very challenging. It can be very direct. It can be very uncomfortable even. But it's always done in service for the client, for their growth, for their awareness. And that way they are getting the most out of the coaching. So leverage feedback. It is a part of the coaching process. But do it mindfully, oftentimes, I would say rarely, and in partnership with the client handing it off to them for their interpretation. Avoid things like, do you think this right? So do you think this, here's my feedback, right? Or anything about validation. Instead, client, as I saw you, this is what I saw. What are your thoughts on what I saw? That approach will add more value to the exploration of the session and more transformation in the life of your clients.